Tokozane. Good day, everyone. Please welcome back. This is Koko Mahawa again. A smoke for my ancestors. And a smoke for my spiritual guides. And a smoke for all my garden angels. Okay, guys. Um, this is January 2023, the beginning of the new year. We all hope for the best. We all hope for, you know, positive things. We want to see us achieving our goals. Already some of us, we have set our goals for 2023, the things that we want to achieve. So as a person, you need to have a long-term plan and a short-term plan. The short-term plans will be, you know, small things, small steps which you're going to take in order to reach the long-term goal okay so i just want us to share this video um this is about the money how are you going to attract money in your life there are so many ways of attracting money in your life so but this time i'm going to use um the method of a wallet i did a video like this last year but i feel like let me do it again okay okay as you can see guys i have right in front of me I have my money oil and inside of this bowl i have a mixture of rice salt and some herbs some money herbs rice attracts money into our lives i'll make a full video about rice why it attracts money how it attracts money in our life it attracts wealth salt as well attracts wealth in our life so that's why I'm going to use them. And I also have herbs for for money, for attracting money in our lives. So herbs, you can do, use, use them in different ways. I'll also make a video soon about how you can use herbs in different ways. Normally, the people who buy from me, I give them instruction on how they're going to use it. Okay. I have money right in front of me. I have some silver coins, uh, one rent, two rent, and five rent. And this time, I've add, um, I have added um, a bronze money. It's a coin and i also have um paper money this is ancestor money and i also have a 50 rent this is a, a south african rent 50 rent and i also have a small plastic which in which i'm gonna put um the, this mixture the mixture of rice salt and herbs in this small plastic and i also have my wallet right in front of me Okay, and my incense is burning. As you can see, this is the incense to attract money. And I also have my green candle. The green candle is also, we also use it when you pray for money. So it means that when you pray for money, blessings, abundance, you pray for work, everything which will bring money in your life, you pray for your business, you're going to use the green candle. Okay, first, first I'm going to um, apply the money oil on my hands. I'm going to apply the money oil on my hands. Let me show you guys. I need to apply the money oil in my hands. I'm going to apply the money oil in my hands. Okay, guys. Okay. Now I'm done with the money oil. Okay. And second step. If you don't have the money oil, don't worry. You can still uh, use the, the others without the money oil, but it's necessary. Okay, now I'm going to apply uh, the money oil on my ancestor money. From there, I'm going to apply it on my 50 rent South African money. Okay, this is how I'm going to do it. As you see, here's the money oil on my hand. I just run it like this around this money. I just run it like this around this money. Okay, and now coming to my SA rent. You can use any num any, any 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 type of money in you know any amount 10 rand 20 rand 50 rand 100 rand 200 rand it's up to you but the bigger the better so unfortunately i only had the 50 rand and also use the money that you know that you are you're not gonna uh, want to use at any time usually when i do this type of um you know spell for money i'm gonna uh, keep it maybe for six months or for the whole year then when the year ends then i you know, I take out everything which I used last year and then I use new ones for the new year. Okay. I still have some oils on my hands. So I'm going to apply this oil right here. 
I'm gonna apply the oil on this money as well. Now I'm done with the money oil. So it means that I can remove it. Okay, my second step. Um, my second step. Okay, now I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna use this one. I hope it doesn't fall down. Oopsie! It will drain my my sheet. Okay, so I take this one. What I'm gonna do, I open my wallet like this. I open my wallet like this, and then I cleanse my wallet inside. But before I use this, I need to make sure that I clean everything, the dust, everything. I take out all the papers, everything which is not needed here. So I cleanse my wallet inside. I cleanse my wallet inside to get rid of you know negative energies. As you know, that money you know uh, goes from one hand to another. Sometimes you find that you have blood money and you don't know this is because this is the money which was given to you by someone or this is the money that you, you draw. Unfortunately, you find that this money, before it was banked, it was put in the bank, someone robbed someone, someone killed someone for this money and then they used some and then they deposited some in the bank. And then what do you do? you go and withdraw and you find that this money it has you know a history okay now i'm done with cleansing um my wallet if i want to cleanse my money as well i can cleanse it as well if i want to i can cleanse it as well just to purify it okay now i'm done my coins as well so guys sorry 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 and my coins as well okay i don't know how to i'm gonna hold it i'll hold it like this my coins as well now i'm done okay now the third step that's it. the third step is now i take my money i'm gonna start with the ancestor money then i'm gonna put it somewhere let me put it in here because this is the money that i'm not going to use at any time or this month the ancestor money we don't use it so at the end of the year when i remove it and then when i appease my ancestors i burn it for them as i thank them for the things that they gave me for the previous year okay and this money as well this is the money that i'm not going to use i'm going to keep it here for the whole year then at the end of the month of the, of the year i take it out then i can buy something maybe a cold drink or whatever i can buy for my ancestors and then i share it with them okay this is the second, the third step. I'm done with the third step. Now we're, come, we're going to the fourth step. Okay, as you can see, guys, this is um what I told you about. I do not. I, uh, I yeah. I think you can see it. I think you can see it. So what I'm gonna do? I'm going to mix everything. I didn't mix it at first. I just put it so that you can see it. Now I'm mixing it. I'm mixing everything. Okay. And then as you can see i've mixed um this is the rice the salt and money herbs okay this is the herbs to attract money okay and then what i do now i also take this money here this money i can either put it here in here but sometimes you find that the money that you put in here you're going to put another money and then at the end you mix it with another money. Then you don't know which one is which one. You end up using it. This is the money that you're not supposed to, to use for the whole year or for six months. It depends on how long you want to make this type of spell. Now I'm mixing my money with my herbs and everything. Now I'm going to pour it in this plastic. Unfortunately, I don't have small plastic. Usually I use the small ones, but I think they're finished. So I'm going to use this one. I'm gonna use this one okay 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 here we go okay now i'm done then i just close it nicely so that it won't um won't spoil my wallet I'm using the brown wallet because brown attracts money. If you can check my videos about wallets, the color of wallet which will attract money in your life. 
and now I can put it anywhere. I can put it in here. Yeah, let me put it in here, which means that I won't be putting any money in here. This um, plastic here, it must always be here alone. Okay, now let me put it in here. Sorry, guys, because I want to close it. I put it in here. Now I'm going to close it. Now I'm done. Now I'm done. Okay, so I take my wallet and then I'm going to put it in my bag. So I can use the other uh, compartments in the wallet to put money. But where I've put um, the money which I'm using to attract money in my life, I'm not going to put anything. They must be alone all the time. They must be separated all the time. And putting uh, salt as well in my wallet, it also helps in, you know, uh, purifying my wallet, cleansing every money that I, I will get. Um, sometimes, you know, we do have enemies all the time. Sometimes someone will give you money to find that this money has been, you know, uh, used with uh, very bad herbs, negative herbs, um, which are supposed to bring bad luck in your life, which are supposed to, to block your money. And when I put uh, salt in my wallet as well, that salt is going to purify that money, meaning that whatever was done in that money, um, it will never happen. The bad energy, uh, the hexes, the jinx, everything, it will not happen to me. Okay, guys. So, if possible, I want you to try this as well. See if your wallet will attract money in your life. Um, maybe do it for the first six months and see if money is coming to your life. It, if money is coming, you know, doors are opening and then just uh, continue with it until the end of the year. And then if you do it for six months and you find that you are still struggling with money, I want you to do it again after six months. Do a new one after six months with using uh, new things and then see what happens. And for this type of, you know, um, attraction, money attraction to come into your life, to happen for you for real, you need to have faith. If you are doing this type of things without faith, you'll never achieve anything. So when you do this, you need to tell yourself that, you know what, money is going to come into my life. Your wallet will always have money inside. You will never run out of money. Even your bank will have some money inside. If you find that you have a business, it will, you know, it will it will help improve in some other areas of your business. Yes, and of course, if you have a business, you also need to do something. Maybe do cleansing on your business property and then, you know, have some some helps, you know, uh, to make the business flow, to make money, you know. Clients come, money comes into your life. That's what you need to do. Guys, I use traditional helps. I use natural herbs. These are, these are the type of things which I use. I don't use, um, you know, anything to do with animals. I don't use anything to do with people. Okay. So I only use natural things. And um, <laughs> I don't know how to call this in English, but let me just call it in my language. I get twalishi. I don't twalisa. Okay. I don't tell Lisa. Sometimes people come to me and be like, Gogo, I want to be rich soon, soon, soon. I want to twala. So Gogo doesn't twalisha because Gogo lena say twali. So Gogo only use prayer, appeasement, and uh, the law of attraction, manifestation to bring money into her life. These are the things that I use. Okay, guys. And throughout the process, guys, okay, like for instance, before I start um, with this process, which I just showed to you right now, I start with prayer and then I speak to my ancestors first. These are the things that I do. And then I also say an affirmation. You can say any type of, of, of affirmation. Sorry, you can say any type of affirmation. Um, affirmation is the words that you tell yourself, the positive words you're, which you're going to say to yourself. You can say it, this, you can say this word over and over and over again, because I'm making, um, you know, manifestation for money. I can just say money comes to me, money comes to me, money comes to me. So you can use any type of affirmation that you want. Or I can say abundance come to me. I attract abundance. I am wealthy. Then I see it again. Abundance come to me. I attract abundance. I am wealthy. You can say it many times, maybe three times if possible. And then this is how you're going to say it. And even when you're done after, and then you repeat your affirmations again. Money come to me. Money come to me. Money come to me. I attract abundance. I attract money into my life. I am wealthy. So more did be. So this is how I do it. And then 
now i'm done then i can put my wallet in my bag thank you so much guys and i wish you the best in 2023 may god bless you may you see abundance may all your projects all your plans you know uh, materialize everything that you want in life may you get it thank you so much guys and we'll meet again next time to go